Have you heard the new uh, Drake album, Scorpion? No, not the whole thing. I've heard, I've seen like three videos. I saw the um, Money With No Hope. I ain't going 50 50 with no hope. Mm -hmm. I saw I'm that. Upset. Huh? Uh, I'm upset. That's the name of the yeah, song. Yeah, I'm upset. That was, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was, it was a Degrassi uh, kind of. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I never watched Degrassi, so I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but I guess I people, people, people got a kick out of it. Um, it seemed like the songs that I seen the videos for, they're already like on the radio. So I haven't heard anything really the off the beaten path shit. I heard Nas's album. Well, okay, we'll we'll talk about Nas's album. Okay, but you know, let's just go ahead and finish with this. So there's a song on Drake's album with Jay Z on it. Right. I've been hearing something like that, and Jay Z's been kind of was like saying some shit in there, or like, yeah. Well, DJ Paul actually produced the record, okay, uh, from Three Six Mafia, and um, Jay had a song, had a verse in there. He said, uh, "Y'all killed X and let Zimmerman live." Right, Streets I heard is that. Done. I heard that. I might be paraphrasing a little bit, but no, yeah, something uh, to that effect. Yes, yeah. He said, "Y'all killed X and let Zimmerman live." Streets is done. I don't see anyone killing Zimmerman. No. No. I, I think people are scared of Zimmerman, to be honest. <laughs> well, they gave Zimmerman I don't know if the gun of back. Zimmerman. I think they're scared of being the one to kill him and and and, and like whatever comes with that. You see what I'm saying? Like like whatever infamy might come with that. They might be scared of. I don't know if they're actually scared of him. You see what I'm saying? Well, you know he's strapped, especially in Florida. <laughs> yeah, but so are plenty of other motherfuckers strapped in Florida. Right. I said there's there's people that's way more strapped and gangster than Zimmerman in Florida. You see what I'm saying? That motherfuckers have beef with that they're not scared of them. It's just again, where is Zimmerman? Like like the type of <laughs> right. people that would want to go after Zimmerman. Zimmerman is not anywhere near these motherfuckers. Well, remember there was that one guy who's in jail right now that tried to kill Zimmerman. Remember it was like a road rage incident. He like shot at him or something and he's in jail now. Okay. So so they're going to make an example out of anybody that does right. do anything to Zimmerman because subconsciously they liked what Zimmerman did. You understand what I'm saying? Like the powers that be, that's why he got off. It, but it's like, you see what I'm saying? So they're not yeah, going to allow a, someone to do something to their example. I mean, it was a white guy that's actually in jail right now for shooting a Zimmerman. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we'll see, man. I mean, one of the most hated people in America right now, still. Yeah, but, you know, there's a lot of hated people. I mean, is murder the answer for everything? No. Like, you know what I mean? You killed George sure. Zimmerman and I, right. there's still plenty of mother Zimmermans out there. You know what I mean? Like motherfuckers just like him right now, rolling around. Shit, these 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 motherfucking white fucking bitches calling police on every fucking body are female Zimmermans. They just don't have the gun. They just trying to get the police to do it for them. Right. I mean, we actually talked about that the other day, uh, me and DL, about how it's almost like the new form of lynching. Someone sent me a meme that said. And I'm kind of paraphrasing, but they said that calling the cops on black people and hoping the police will shoot them is a new form of lynching. It's not. New, it's the same form of lynching. It's the same form of lynching. It really is. Black people want to vote. Mississippi burning is based on black people wanting to vote. Right. Somebody wanted them to do it. Who 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 helped, who was complicit in murdering those dudes? The police. Right. Emmett Till gets murdered because a white woman called the police on him or called, said that he he looked at her in a disrespectful way. Who looked the other way? Mm. So it's not, it's not, this is not new. It's retro. Calling the police and hoping that an incident will lead to a murder in the form of, of that phone call is Or knowing in the back of your mind, they might not consciously be thinking Hoping, oh, I hope when I call, they're going to get killed. But subconsciously, you know, from watching the news and all the shit that goes on, that if you do call the police on a person of color, there is a potential 
that that encounter can end up in that person of color's death. And that the right. odds are much higher for that to happen to us than for it to happen to somebody who's white. Right. Remember the that one guy who his neighbor called called the police on him. They went into his backyard and killed him. He just had a cell phone, and like the neighbor said, how how bad he felt he felt about making that nine one one call. Mm. I don't know if I fully remember that story. Yeah. yeah, I think it was Sacramento or something like that. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a fucked up situation, man. It was a uh, it was a very very bad situation, and. You know, what DL said is, like, this is not a new thing. Like, white people have been calling police on blacks and watching the black people get killed or beat up since the beginning. So, you know, with the overseers and, and, and all else. of that, the white lady said, ooh, that nigga whistled at me. Right. We actually talked about that. Yeah. Emmett Till. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. And she admitted, I guess, on her yeah, deathbed. She was lying, that little bitch. She was lying the whole time. 